Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out our Nimi Carb on our X22 GT250. This has been on in a couple years now. It's time to clean it up. So we're gonna pull off our Nibby Carb. You'll see our Nibby down in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll uh, clean it up and we'll put it back in. I'm charging a battery for this right now. So I'm gonna put the battery in it um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the carb out and wipe some of the dust off it. Poor girl. I hate seeing my bikes get dusty. So uh, yeah, so let's get our uh, our tools and everything together and we'll get the carb out and uh, let's get clean it. All right, so <clears throat> now we have our carb out. So we're gonna clean it next. Um, this is the N30. So the N26 and the N30 are uh, very similar. So, um, but we're gonna, I already did the N26 before, but this is a, a really good uh, teaching video as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull off our bottom bolts for the bowl and it's a number three allen key to do this there we go and there should be only two just one in each corner that's it and yeah there's going to be some uh, gas coming out of the car but i didn't bother emptying yet um because i'm going to clean it out anyway so i don't really care if it runs all over the board here there we are so this one's actually pretty clean <clears throat> um but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it apart anyway and we're gonna clean out the jets anyway so you just take that little plastic set that off to the side uh you don't have to worry about taking your float off unless you're having a problem with the float like right now like i said um i'm just gonna clean the jets so let's take these jets out So let's get a look at the jets. Oh, that's actually a six mil, I guess. And I don't want it, I don't need to take out the bottom part of the jet. Um, I don't think, but if I do, let's take a look at this first. Well, this one's actually pretty clean. Oh, that one's really clean too, but I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna get a, I don't know where my six mil is, but I'll get an adjustable real quick here. We'll take that one out too. There we go. Set that off to the side. And we'll take out the last one here. And that one's not bad either <clears throat> this is actually pretty clean usually i get a carb like this uh that's been uh, sitting for a couple of years and you'll see a lot of um yellow or green really start to build up in this one this has actually stayed quite clean which is nice so what we're going to do is we're going to take some carb cleaner and it doesn't matter what kind of carb cleaner it is this is motomaster but it doesn't really matter and let's spray it all out even where our air screw is. All the holes, all the holes. Nice. And what I like, the one thing I love about this carb is how polished it is inside. So there's like no restriction. Um, it works, that, it's just phenomenal for moving gas. All right, so now we're gonna take our tips. We're gonna spray out our tips. Make sure there's flow going out of all those holes. Yep, that one's good. And don't worry about carb clean. It does um, evaporate, so you don't have to worry much about drying it off or anything. And you can put it all back because it's flammable and it you don't have to dry it all out of your carb. Now I'm just gonna clean out the bowl. Just like that. And now we can reassemble anything. Uh, everything back together. <clears throat> the only real discoloration I see is on this uh, this bottom pin here, and I mean, but I mean that's not bad at all. That's uh, that's a really clean carb. I think I took this clean this carb off and cleaned it not that long ago. So, but uh, <clears throat> this is great for all of us here. So, 
Um, first thing I'm going to take my small jack, go ahead and put it back in. down take the bottom of our jet here take that in nice check this tip I want I didn't blow this one out yet so I'll blow it out yep that one works good go ahead and put that back on go just like that now uh, we want to make sure you put your plastic cap back in there that goes just over there like that and down and now we can put our bowl back on now the bowl this back part here has to line up with right here for our air screw oh no our air screw is actually up here but it still has to line up so just like that oh. and there we go now we got our bottom on just like that and then we can put our bolts back in and once I tighten this up I'm gonna I'll spray the whole outside of the carb to uh, make sure it's nice and clean too. Just like that. <clears throat> nice. Okay, now I'll just give it a quick tighten. Just like that. And like that. Perfect. <clears throat> now, just gonna give it a real quick spray all inside. Make sure everything's all clean. Down my fuel line. Like that. There we go. And now our carb is all clean. I'm gonna go ahead back and put it in the machine and uh, let's see how it runs. Okay, so I got my carb in there. You'll see it's still wet because I uh, just literally put it back in. I haven't tried it yet. So, got the choke popped up. Let's fire this bag roll up. Now, I'm gonna hit it a couple turns on the throttle because there's no gas been moving through there in a while. And uh, let's try. I think I might have popped the fuse. Uh, so I'm gonna check the fuse and see why it didn't start. Okay, so that was my bad. Um, I didn't tighten the battery up correctly. So let's try this again. So we got power, again, just a couple of rotations just to get the gas going and let's try it oh look at that see how fast that fired up wow the difference when you do this uh, i noticed my uh, idle is a little bit high i probably might take it down a tiny bit but i'm gonna let it warm up maybe once it warms up it'll idle down by 